Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my fall home tour and I'm so excited to be filming this video. Fall is probably my favorite time of the year. Well, between fall and spring, I really love spring as well. But yes, I'm so excited for fall. I'm ready for the cooler weather. I'm ready for the change of scenery. So yes, I'm super excited for fall. So I will take you guys along with me and show you how I decorated my house this year. If you are a new subscriber, then you probably don't know this. I just purchased a house back in January. So this is our first year in this house for the holiday season and for fall. So I'm trying to get used to decorating the house for the holidays trying to see where I want to put everything and how I want to decorate. I did end up picking up a lot more fall decor items just because I thought I had enough fall decor from last year, but our house, our rental house that we were living in last year was much smaller than our house now. So there was just a lot more space to work with. So I did pick up a few more items. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's fall home tour. If any of you guys have done a fall home tour, comment down below and let me know so I can go check it out. I really love watching these videos. I love home decor and I love watching other people decorate their house and see what they put in their home and just pretty much everyone's different styles. So. Like I said, if you have done one of these videos, comment down below so I can check it out. As always, if you have not already, I would really love if you consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, join me and my YouTube family. Also, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to my 2018 fall home tour. I'm gonna start off in the kitchen area in these mason jars, I just put in some leaves, some loose leaves I had purchased at Dollar Tree. And then I also have this candle in the middle of this little flower centerpiece. I actually made this in a DIY. I will link down below if any of you guys are interested. And then over here, I do have another mason jar, same exact one as the first one you saw. And these also do have twinkling lights inside. Okay, so now moving on over to my coffee and tea bar. In this corner, I have this wooden morning pumpkin sign that I purchased for only $1 at the Target dollar spot. And then over here, I have a cinnamon candle. And then behind it is this thankful and blessed wooden sign. It was meant to hang up, but I just propped it up because I liked it better how it looked propped up instead of hanging. And then I just have this pretty garland hanging from the front that I bought from Hobby Lobby last year. Then down below over here, I have this wooden pumpkin that says fall. I bought from my local grocery store, Kroger, with a pumpkin from Dollar Tree. Over here, I have this Hello Fall and also white and gold ceramic pumpkin that I bought from Target. I also have a rose gold pumpkin basket that I have my fruit in. If you guys have not checked out your local Target this fall, I would definitely check them out. They have a ton of super cute things for affordable prices. Then down below over here on my stove, I have this pumpkin and spice everything in nice kitchen towels. It was a set also from Target and I love it. Over here in the corner, I have this pumpkin pie recipe wooden plaque just propped up. And then I have these two orange and gold ceramic pumpkins. I put one of them on a mini cupcake stand just because I like the look of one of them looking a little taller than the other. And then over here in the corner, I have this Hello Fall pumpkin little sign and also mini pumpkin that I bought from Dollar Tree. Over here on my little kitchen island, I have a gold and white ceramic pumpkin. I do plan on putting candy inside. Right now it is empty. And then in this wooden tray, I have a fall candle. Along with that, I have this little glass jar that I just stuck in a bunch of leaves and twinkling lights from Dollar Tree. And then inside, I just spread out just random leaves and pumpkins down inside just because I thought it looked pretty. So that is how my island is set up for this fall. And then of course I had to take out my Mrs. Meyers fall scent 
hand soaps and dish soap. So right now I have my pumpkin one out and I also have the cider one, which smells amazing. And then over here in the corner, I have this I am thankful wooden chalkboard sign. I wasn't sure where to put it. So for now I have just placed it here, but I am sure I will change it eventually. But for now I just have it propped up in that corner. And then for each season, I like to change out my wreaths behind my pantry door. So this is a wreath I have up right now. I actually made this as a DIY. Everything I used was from Dollar Tree. So it's just a pretty fall wreath with pumpkins. And then it says harvest in the middle. And now entering into my living room, this is how I have everything set up. As you guys can see, I am using the typical traditional fall colors. Eventually I do want to switch over to more neutral colors, but for now this is how I am decorating. So over here I have this pumpkin pillow that I am obsessed with. I got from the Target dollar spot. So it is a white and dark and light gray and I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. And then I ended up finding this pumpkin pillow. It says pumpkin spice from Target as well. There was only one left and I grabbed it. I thought it went well with my decor since I do have orange in my decor. And then I was able to get my hands on a second pumpkin pillow. So I bought a second one for the opposite side of my sofa. And then over here on my coffee table, I just have these two pumpkins. They're like a knitted material. I bought them from Target as well. And I love them. They're so pretty and simple. And I just have it in that little metal bowl. And then over here in my farmer's market little tray, I have just a bunch of flowers that I bought from Dollar Tree. And I placed in this little vase jar that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this house that I am obsessed with, I bought from Target as well. I believe it was 3 or $5. But it's a white ceramic house that lights up. Then over here on my TV stand, I have two little vase fillers just filled up. I usually have some like pine cones and just other decor in it, but I switch it out for leaves and pumpkins. I have some white pumpkins and then some red pumpkins in this one. And then over here, I just have this mahogany driftwood candle from Walmart along with a white and gold ceramic pumpkin in this fall wooden sign I believe I bought last year from Target. And then over here, same thing as the other little vase filler. I just have orange and white pumpkins in that one. Now moving over to my fireplace mantle. This is how I have it all set up. Up above, I have these two pumpkin candle holders that I actually made in a DIY as well. I will also be linking down below if any of you guys are interested. It was a simple and easy DIY I did last year. And then I have this garland. Both the garlands, I believe, were purchased at my local Hobby Lobby. And then I just clipped some pumpkins that I bought from Dollar Tree all along. So I have some orange and white ones just clipped on along because I thought they were cute. And then down below, I am just hanging these string lights that I bought from Target. They light up, so I usually light them up at night. And then over in the corner in my tall glass vase, I have just some more fillers. I have pumpkins and then also these little cotton stems. So I'm thinking about taking out those white flowers because I don't think it looks very nice all together. So I'll probably take out the flowers and keep the pumpkins and the cotton stems. Moving over here to the corner, this is where I have the picture of my grandfather and best friend who passed away. I just hung up this home sweet home sign and then I have two simple pumpkins in the center. I didn't want to do too much over in this corner, so I just added those two pumpkins in the home sweet sign that I bought from Dollar Tree. Now moving over to my dining room table. This is how I have it all set up. I have these little placemats that are so cute guys and I found them at my Dollar Tree. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's new this year. I just thought they were super cute. So I bought a set of four of them and have them set out on my dining table. And then in the center, I have this 
little basket I bought from Target and then I just filled it with pumpkins, flowers, and leaves. And then I also draped over some Dollar Tree twinkling lights that have little fall leaves all over it. And then I have a candle in my pumpkin candle holder. I actually need to change out that candle to a fall scent candle, but I just don't have any more fall scents, so that's why that one's in there. And then in this glass jar that I bought from Dollar Tree, I just placed in a bunch of Dollar Tree flowers and cotton stems. Moving into my guest bathroom, I have this clear vase. I just stuck in a bunch of leaves and twinkling lights along with a orange ceramic pumpkin. And then over here, I have this gold wooden pumpkin that I bought from Target. And then I decided to just throw a few leaves down below for the look of it. I just thought it was pretty. Then now my office area, I have this corn maze little wooden sign I bought from Target along with this candle that is called harvest cider and it smells amazing guys you need to check it out if you can find this candle at your local grocery store which is where i purchased it and then i have just this white basket filled with some velvet pumpkins and then behind it in the gold little jar i just switched out my spring flowers for some fall flowers and this is going to end my fall tour for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, and join me and my YouTube family. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.